Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Dr. Vijay Bhatia. Today we are going to discuss about bulimia nervosa. What is bulimia nervosa? It is a syndrome characterized by repeated bouts of overeating and an excessive preoccupation with the control of body weight leading to a pattern of overeating followed by vomiting or use of purgatives. So important things here is number one, it is a syndrome. So that means it is a collection of few symptoms or few uh, uh, things within the bulimia nervosa that makes it bulimia nervosa. So number one, there is overeating. And when we say overeating, it's much more than the normal person will have or that person who is used to eating small amounts will have a episode of overeating to the extent they fill up quite, uh, have a big portion. And these bouts or episodes are repeated. And on top of that, they are excessively preoccupied in their ideas and thoughts that they want to control the body weight. They don't want to become fat. They feel that they want to lose weight. They want to maintain a low body weight, which is lower than the average person of that age, that height. So they want to maintain the low weight, but what happens is they get episodes or periods when they can't control that and they end up overeating. And when that happens, they feel sick or they make themselves sick by vomiting, putting fingers in their mouth and uh, making them vomit or they use purgatives laxatives to go to the toilet so that the food is not absorbed and they want to get rid of that and these episodes keep on repeating. The disorder shares many psychological features with anorexia nervosa. Remember my video on the anorexia nervosa? Uh, bulimia nervosa does have a lot of features uh, which are similar to anorexia nervosa, but in this one, they end up overeating and then vomiting. And their weight may not be as low as bulimia nervosa, uh, as anorexia nervosa. And in bulimia nervosa, sometimes the weight is normal and sometimes the weight is even slightly more. However, they are not happy with their weight and they want to decrease their weight <clears throat> and the threshold for the weight will be much lower than the normal people of that age and height. So the features of anorexia and bulimia nervosa, they have, they are over concerned with the body shape. They believe that the fat is too much, their body contour is not right, there is flabbiness and they dread that and they have fear about that. If they become fat, if they accumulate fat, they will, they, will, they will not be good looking, they will not be fine, they will not fit into the society or into the group they belong to. So that is quite preoccupying idea in their mind and the concern is quite big. So what happens is they end up vomiting and this vomiting is many a times induced either by use, using certain drugs uh, or with putting fingers in their mouth or sometimes even objects like toothbrush to vomit themselves. And if they are vomiting quite often and heavy amount, acid and bile will come out as well. That will ruin their teeth, that will ruin their fingers and you can see them on their hands, 
sometimes their nails are not good there are scratch marks from the teeth on the back of their hands and their teeth itself can be eroded because of the acid from the stomach and they they might be some they might have lost some teeth as well and because of this vomiting a lot of souls are are vomited as well so what happens there is disturbance of body electrolytes so sodium potassium calcium magnesium they all will be imbalanced there might be a lot of potassium or there might be no potassium or very little potassium and these in turn can affect heart kidneys and other organs in the body and will cause the weakness tiredness and dehydrates the body by excessive vomiting and there can be physical complications if the person keeps on vomiting they might develop metabolic disturbance electrolyte disturbance to the extent sometimes it damages to the certain organs there is often but not always a history of an earlier episode of anorexia nervosa so in bulimia nervosa there is normally but not always a history from the young age probably teenage years that they have history of anorexia nervosa where they always dreaded putting on weight gathering fat however over a period of time they develop bulimia nervosa when they start overeating and then start vomiting the interval ranging from a few months to several years uh, between the development of anorexia nervosa and the uh, and the bulimia nervosa so in teenage years they were having anorexia nervosa there might be a period of months to years when they start developing and bulimia nervosa with episodes of overeating and then purging and vomiting there are recurrent episodes of overeating that we recognize what does it mean in the real terms for the diagnostic criteria for especially for the research at least twice a week for over a period of 3 months that is the minimum most of the time the history goes back quite long time in which large amounts of food are consumed in short period of time and sometimes even secretively and sometimes getting up at night uh, coming to the fridge and coming to the kitchen and making something and this food is normally quite high in calorie and high in fat and carbohydrate content and so they end up having a lot of feelings guilt feelings why did they do that and they go and vomit uh, in short period and they are mostly preoccupied with the food either making food cooking food and uh, uh, they end up eating more food their thoughts are about the mind they are preoccupied and uh, there is a strong desire for them uh, to eat food and uh, because of the taste because of the smell but they don't like the putting on weight and bulimia nervosa patients describe as if there is a compulsion that they don't have control they don't have uh, a sense of uh, stopping it they have a sense of compulsion as if uh, it, it, they are being pulled towards it and they have to eat and they eat in a large amount and then they vomit and this sense of compulsion is called craving as we know from the addiction services so bulimia nervosa the patient attempts to counteract the flat fattening effect of food by one or more of the following so what do they do they will induce the vomiting it is self induced as we talked about the with the fingers or toothbrush or taking some medications like epiquana or self induced purging they will take some kind of laxatives or fibers or um, tablets like dulcolex or stuff like that so that they can purge alternate periods of starvation so once they have eaten a lot of food they will vomit and then they will go into a period 
where they will not eat for days and days and will starve themselves. Use of drugs such as appetite suppressants, there are certain drugs that suppress your appetite either from the corner shops or from the health shops or from local healers. And things like thyroid preparations like thyroxine, levothyroxine, uh, these are well known to cause appetite suppression. And on top of that, even if you eat, and they are known because they metabolize the food quickly. The, burn, the food is burned more quickly. And uh, they use diuretics. So diuretics are medications in which make you go to the urination more often. You lose a lot of water and during that process, because the way the diuretics works, and if you're passing more water, more urine, then you are losing a lot of salt in them causing the electrolyte imbalance. And when bulimia occurs in diabetic patients, they may not, they may choose to neglect to take their insulin treatment because it, it, what happens is if they don't take the insulin, insulin stays in and the blood sugar is, is uh, raised and the sugar molecule is not entered into the into the into the body cells like muscle cells uh, what happens is insulin the way it works insulin makes the glucose molecule to enter into the cell there are receptors here and these receptors will only open if insulin is attached to it if insulin they they miss the insulin this glucose molecule will not enter into the cell like a muscle cell and burn it. Therefore, there will be blood sugar in the body and it will be excreted in the urine and stuff like that. And they, they lose weight that way. There is self-perception of being too fat with an intrusive dread. The, the, the fear of fatness uh, usually leading to underweight. So they are preoccupied with the thoughts, which they believe their own thoughts, they are not coming from outside, but the fear is so great that they will become fat, therefore they want to starve and vomit. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please press the like button and share with your friends. Subscribe the channel, there are more videos on the mental health and eating disorders. I will see you again in my next video.